Wow, hello there guys and girls. So, welcome back to Opus Castle. This is chapter two. Um, now, this video is only about 15, 60 minutes long, something like that. But I got some bad news for you. Just like I said in the end of the last one, you are gonna have to play through the uh, whole prologue and chapter one at least two more times uh, to get the rest of the achievements. So basically, there are seven achievements here in chapter two. Uh, three, there's basically two, uh, more or less, in each chapter. Oh, for, for whatever you ended with the last one. So if you followed the guide in the last one, we would have ended upstairs. So what we can do is press continue here and get the two achievements related to the upstairs. Then what you'll have to do is play through the entire game again. So the prologue and chapter one to finish in the office to get those uh, two or three achievements and do the same then so you'll have to play through the prologue in chapter one yet again and that is to finish in the um, dinner room to get those couple of achievements as well so yes um, so obviously I've done a lot of editing in this one so I'm just showing you how to what to and where to get the achievements rather than going through the whole prologue in chapter one again because by now you should know exactly what you're doing just since you played through it so four things. times before of course now, every time you continue, or get to this part anyway, this annoyingly unskippable part um, will keep happening. And trust me, old Doris, what is wrong with a bit of fornication? Fornication is a wondrous, happy thing. Just because you guys ain't getting it, doesn't mean that we can't get it. Yeah? Yeah. Se a gente deixar ela ficar e cuidarmos do filho que ela terá, podemos até dizer que não iremos mais pagá-la. Olhem como um investimento. Teremos uma empregada fazendo tudo o que a gente quiser e sempre estará do nosso lado porque teremos a filha dela na nossa mão. Se ela for pra rua, não terá futuro. Que seja, mas não vou admitir criança correndo pela casa. Ela que cresça no jardim e entre as paredes. Se eu encontrá-la por aqui, darei umas... So, like I said, providing then that you followed my guide for chapter one, when we continue here, we should already end up in chapter... Um, this is the beginning of chapter two, basically, but we should end up upstairs. That's where we finish the course, chapter one. Um, obviously, if you went a different route, you'll obviously start off either in the dining room or the office. So, but anyway, providing again you followed the guide, what we're going to do is head out of this door, head to the left... And we're going to go into the room directly in front of us. What we're going to do is help old demon balls or deny helping demon balls. Um, so again, a little bit of conversation is going to happen. And then basically we're going to get uh, an interaction prompt to basically say yes or no. And of course we're going to be going for both of those achievements. So when we get the first achievement, what we're going to do is completely quit out to the dashboard, the Xbox dashboard. Load ourselves back in and do the other option, and then the fun of starting the prologue in chapter one all over again will begin. Stop making up names, you scary little buttbag. It's just a little demon ghost. Lógico que não, né? Todo mundo sabe que fantasma não existe. Agora para de me enrolar. Você vai me so it doesn't matter which one you pick here, I just choose, uh, I just press the A button to say yes. When the achievement unlocks, straight away, uh, quit the Opus Castle game, go back into the Xbox dashboard, get yourself back in, and then, <laughs> again, unfortunately, when we press continue, you will have to go through that same cutscene. Oh, by the way, the Pathfinder achievement for achieving all achievements will unlock here as well, so that should uh, be good for you as well. But like I said, when we press continue, once again, we'll have to go through that same cutscene that we just did with the whole, she had an affair, got pregnant, and now everyone's pissed off because nobody has touched them in about 87 years. Uh, again, it's an unskippable thing, which is annoying, but there we go. Don't be jealous, old swingy tits. Pelo menos foi o que eu ouvi os empregados dizerem. Pessoal, olha o que vocês estão falando. Se enxerguem. O que adianta posar de bons samaritanos na frente da sociedade se não cuidamos dos nossos? E outra. Vamos pensar. Se a gente deixar ela ficar e cuidarmos do filho que ela terá, podemos até dizer que não iremos mais pagá-la. 
Olhem como um vestimento. Teremos uma empregada fazendo tudo o que a gente quiser e sempre estará do nosso lado porque teremos a filha dela na nossa mão. Se ela for pra rua, não terá futuro. Que seja, mas não vou admitir criança correndo pela casa. Ela que cresça no jardim e entre as paredes. Se eu encontrá-la por aqui, darei umas belas palmadas. Now again, after this time, of course, this is where I'll be editing it down some, so you, you won't have to watch it every single time. Um, now, I obviously left it in chapter one because it was nice to go along with it, but it just seemed a bit unnecessary to keep it in the video this time. Uh, and again, like I said, you should know what you're doing in chapter one anyway. You've done it literally enough times by now. So again, obviously what you're going to do is head out of the door. Once again, you're going to head into the left room. I thought she may be random in random places, but she's not. So she'll be in the same place every time. And when the dialogue prompt comes up, remember to press the B button to say no. And uh, that is for the denying help to the demon achievement. O que tá acontecendo? Eu não sei te dizer direito, mas acho que ele te escolheu. Ele? Quem é ele? Eita! Parece que tem alguém bravo aqui. Mas e você? Qual o seu nome? <laughs> Foi mal. É, é que eu tô... É sério, eu tô muito apavorado. O meu nome é, é Rafael... Uh, Davi... Ma Marcelo... Uh, meu nome é Bruno. O meu nome é Bruno. Você é... Um fantasma? Lógico que não, né? Todo mundo sabe que fantasma não existe. Agora para de me enrolar. Você vai me ajudar a encontrar boneco ou não? And Skablamo Marge, that's that one complete. So now what we can do is, there's literally nothing else to do. So we can just go back into the main menu here, go into chapters, and start chapter one all over again. And I know you're probably literally sat there going, you're getting a sideshow, Bob. But, uh, you know, it's what we got to do. If you, want, if you want all the achievements, it's what we got to do. Again, hopefully, later on in life, they will release an update where you can actually just pick and choose where you want to go instead of doing this again. But for now, again, just smash through chapter one. Um, if you are stuck or you can't remember how to do chapter one for, for whatever particular reason, then just obviously get my chapter one video up and uh, just go again. But it should be fairly straightforward and again, you should remember what to do by now. And with the incredible magic of my fingers, whoa, did you hear that? Incredible magic finger editing. Waylon Smithers just entered the chat room. What's this about being fingered? Um, I'm just choking, so I'm so sorry. Anyway, what we're going to do then is press the A button now to explore the room, so we can explore the dinner room. Uh, so we're going to get another couple of achievements here. There we go. So, immediately look at the grandfather clock again, of course. Grab the pin, or key pin number one. Turn directly back around and interact with the door. Head in and do the whole cutscene Mating Magomi, Magami Magombom. Old creepy baby. And then, when it all begins and we're all good, eventually, I do believe a little girl is going to show up. In fact, no, we've got to interact, sorry. So we're going to have to interact with... Plates, dinner table, and wine cellar in order to get the cutscene up and going. Valeu uma fortuna! Olha só, muito luxuosa. Deve ter sido colocada por isso que eu tenho. Você é muito valiosa para ser usada agora. Because, of course, we are ending chapter one. And again, I've just uh, cut the last cutscene down. Obviously, it's going to take another, like, three or four minutes for you. But when we have that ending in Chapter 1 done, we can go ahead and continue. Sadly, you will have to go through the next cutscene again with the whole, Oh my god, she's fornicating! How, what a dirty little git! I wish I was fornicating. <laughs> Onde já se viu? É um absurdo e um desrespeito conosco! Ao invés de trabalhar, ficou transando. E olha aí, está grávida. E o namorado bundão ainda foi embora. Largou ela. 
But this time to save you hell, even though you're gonna have to go through it anyway, I've just saved it a little bit. Right, so there's gonna be a little girly doll. She's gonna have a little quick inter introduction and then she's gonna bag her off, Sen. Ah, so scary. Right, first thing we're gonna do here then, we're gonna turn directly around and try to leave. So we can just uh, smash the smartphone away. Turn around, try to leave, and the angry, um, floppy boobed woman will try and break in. Of course, we're gonna smash it back out. That is going to get us the... Uh, it's just a peak achievement. It's just a peak. Uh, then what we can do then is go to the opposite side of the room where creepy little demon girl went, uh, head through the door, and basically a automatic cutscene is going to happen which will get us the finding the source achievement. So if we keep heading forward... By the way, there is a radio here in this room, just literally right by the entrance door. We need to grab an audio cassette for the next achievement. Um, otherwise, this is where the finding the source achievement is. Job done. Mas não me manda embora. Eu não tenho para onde ir. Vou falar com o Virgílio. Você sabe como ele é, Virgílio. Tudo bem, minha senhora. Eu agradeço. Vou dar um jeito de cuidar de vocês. Mas não quero essa criança correndo pela casa ou importunando os convidados. Obrigada, muito obrigada. Eu cuidarei dela apenas no meu quarto e garantirei que use as entradas dos serviçais. Muito obrigada. Foi assim que eu nasci, correndo pelas passagens secretas e sem ser vista por ninguém. Right, so when that one unlocks then, what you need to do is turn back around. So obviously, there's a kitchen, there's a bathroom. What we're going to do is turn back around, go into the room where we entered, which is kind of like the dining room, living room or whatever. There's the radio there, and then just interact with the audio tape to get the invo invocation tape. And that is all she wrote for this one. So that's another three achievements. So now what we have to do is go through the entirety of the prologue, and chapter one again, so we can just quit out again once once we're done here. And we need to just get another two achievements, but we have to finish off in the office this time. So again, go through chapter one, go through the whole thing, and I'll see you back at the mirror with my magic finger editing. And bam, once again, the magic of editing is fantastic. Right, so this time then we're going to be pressing the X button here to uh, enter the offices and stuff like that. So explore the entrance, and again, obviously what we'll have to do is wait a few seconds after pressing the X button here for the door to open. We'll grab the key from the chandelier and then go into the right-hand side office. And then, of course, what you're going to do, um, there's pretty much nothing to do until we hear the doorbell go. Uh, so once you hear the doorbell go, get, get back out, come back in, complete the chapter once again. And then, of course, we can finally continue to begin from said office. Now, there are two achievements we're going to get here. Uh, chess player and quick on trigger. Now, the quick on trigger is basically passing through the quick time event without dying. Now, you literally have literally a second or two. So you do have to be quick. If you do end up dying, um, just completely quit out of the dashboard and go again. Um, I didn't die, but obviously people's reaction times are completely different, of course. So we need to go through the angry, jealous, old floppy titty woman's fornication rage rant again. And this is where we begin chapter two with Demon Girl. Bruh, bruh, I'm not here to hurt you. Although his screams are hilariously funny. So, what are we going to do then? As we turn around, we're going to turn around, have a look at the um, office top, have a look at the very top drawer. Now, it may be tricky to find, but right just underneath the hat is where the top drawer is. Grab the pin, or the key pin, and then what we can do is go into the door right opposite us. It's got a little sword on top, so just have a look at that one. Have a look at the chessboard straight in front of us, and then what you need to do is move the so the sort of uh, horse, the dark horse there, <laughs> the dark horse, not the one I just got, but the one top left of that one, you need to move that one to um, F2 or F1, 
Whatever that is, I can't actually see because I am blind. So let's just put it, yeah, right there. That, yeah. So just do exactly what I've done there. A sala do ritual ficou pronta. <laughs> Isso é uma ótima notícia. Então já podemos começar nossos trabalhos. Vamos começar o quanto antes. Quem você acha melhor ser o primeiro? Acredito que nossa melhor opção agora é o Gab. Ele é um dos reis do inferno, responsável pelo ponto cardeal sul. E é muito poderoso. Ótimo. Será uma bela aquisição. Um rei servindo outro rei em seu castelo. Quer conhecer a sala de ritual? Claro. Cheque mate. Incrível. <risos> And this is where the quick time event is going to happen. So like I said, you will only get literally about a second or two. There's three uh, quick time events that we have to smash through once, once we have a look left here. Uh, but again, if you do, you have to do it without dying. So if you die, just simply um, quit, completely quit out the Xbox dashboard and go again. Don't know if it's random. For me, it was X, A and A. Uh, but just uh, keep going and you should get it first time, hopefully anyway. And if you did do it first time there without dying, the achievement should unlock here, right at the very end of the cutscene, which you can't skip again. And there we go. So that one is all done. So that's chapter two complete anyway, guys and gals. So by now you should be on a decent 46 out of 46. Now ignore that one. It's completely messed up. I have unlocked the smoke achievement in the first chapter. So there we go then, guys and gals. So thank you so much for watching this one. Again, I hope you enjoyed the game so far. I hope that it, the guide has helped as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. And I guess I'll be seeing you in Chapter 3 when it comes out. Big love, baby girls and boys. Nya. Nya. Nya.